Oh, let's get to it. Yeah, woo! We are back. Trying to finish up wheat harvest. It has been a nightmare. Let me tell you. We're gonna, all right, we're not gonna hit. Make for sure, I need to move that engine block sometime. All right, yeah, it's been a while. We definitely need to get this wheat out of here. This wheat harvest has been a nightmare. I'm not sure why this truck is in the air. Yeah, it's definitely a major wind block. We gotta lower that down. It's like a big sail up in the air. But we have had breakdown after breakdown. The Massey. Uh, I've been trying to get that on the disc so we can uh, double crop. That thing's broke down. I need to take that in. Oh, it's just been a nightmare so far. Nothing's going right. Uh, into we're not getting a very good crop of, or yield off the wheat so we almost have to double crop to get that uh, rent paid what the? did you hear that oh man what the heck was that oh oh man looks like our PTO broke off the shaft. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get this in the shop. Just break down after breakdown. Shoot, this is not good. I would like something to go right one of these times. Let's see if I can back this up into the garage quickly. Start working on this thing. Alright, we'll back this up here. See how much damage we got. Oh, that is not good. Broke a lot. Alright. Let's start. Where's my impact wrench? Shoot. Nothing bothers. I don't know if you guys have ever been around like a uh, service member maintainer or something like that. We are huge on every tool has its place, every tool in its place. Uh, because if you leave a wrench in a jet engine, it doesn't work out really for you. It kills a lot of people, could down the whole jet. And see, I like tools like placed out like this, like on a mat, very everything in its place. I don't like tools left out on the benches it just bothers me i i used to be the type of person where i would you know throw it all in a little uh little toolbox just bring it over to where i was working not anymore yep they ruined me so now i have to every tool i get done i put it back in its place just the way i am i don't know if you guys ever seen that before but if you ever met somebody you probably know because they'd be freaking out when you leave tools laying around your workspace and then you'd be like what the heck is your problem do you hear that what the heck is that noise oh, it's awful noise who the heck is this Heck, what's going on here? God, I'm gonna shut this stupid music off. Oh my goodness. Timmy had his buddy drop him off. I'm really worried about Timmy. Man, I'm not trying to disc anybody that drives a, I believe this is a Nissan. Yeah, some type of Nissan low rider. It's got low pros looks like you're basically riding on the rim there 
I don't recommend you driving that on a country road. I mean, look how low that thing is. I'm not trying to diss anybody that drives a Nissan four-door with a roll cage. Low pros. Lowered. But I think I basically, if I get lean down in there, smell what they call the almost like cat piss. Which, in other words, the reefer was smoked in there. And I'm worried. I don't want little Timmy to be hanging around the wrong crowd. I think I need to do little Timmy a favor. Get him focused around a different crowd. Get him away from that type of crowd. Yeah, he can leave. I don't like that type of crowd. And get him focused on the right type of crowd. That is, you know, thinking maybe, like, you know, maybe a little young race club or something like that. Get Timmy some, you know, entertain Timmy in another way. And hopefully get him started out in the right path so he can uh, go to college, make the big bucks, you know, have a successful career. Oh, look at this guy take off. What did he just do? Did you just see him go underneath that semi? I'll tell you what. I think that it would be a good idea to get little Timmy involved in a little race club. I'll go down, see what I can, if I can pick these, uh, got a little plan, hopefully I can get them for the right price, I did see them in town, so, we'll hook up to our toy hauler, cause, why not, there we go, got it hitched up, got it on the half ton, I know, we're gonna have to pick up parts anyway, so I'm gonna run to town, while I'm there, I'm gonna look out for little Timmy. He's an important member on this farm. We need to get him started in the right path. What the heck do we have going on here? Did they find a donut in the ditch? What the heck? Maybe I should see if they need some help. Okay. The heck? So apparently they spotted a bear in the woods. I didn't know we even had bears. The heck? I mean, it they were excited about it. It's like the highlight of their day. All right, I'm not going to stick around here. I don't have my uh, Colt 45 on me, so yeah. Didn't even realize I should be looking out for bears in the woods. Ooh. Whoa, I like you. What the heck is that thing? Look at the clearance on that thing. Amount of travel. Well, I came here for these go-karts, but before we look at them, I have just got... Ooh. I mean, look at that travel. What is this? Uh, I would... Ram Charger? I mean, look at that clearance. That poor tire right there. I don't know. I, with that type of clearance, and... I, I just... I gotta make an offer on this thing. I have always wanted one of these uh, Ram Chargers. I think about the only other vehicle I've ever really wanted more is an old fixed up power wagon. Then things just look cool. But man, they are expensive. But man, I would. This is probably my favorite looking uh, Blazer or Bronco type vehicle. They're, they're rare. They're not near as popular as the Blazer or the Bronco. The Ram Charger. I'm gonna have to make an offer on that. So I really came here, this is my plan, to get little Timmy involved in some racing. Yeah, little Timmy likes green, obviously. We got a uh, different uh, face, facial expressions on every vehicle, I guess. Let's see. Of course, we'll drive number one. 
Well, it looks like we just have an RPM gauge up there. Whoa. Oh, this thing's got some. Whew. I know we shouldn't be driving on the street here. I just have to. It's probably extremely dangerous because people aren't looking this low to the ground when they're driving along. Let's go see how fast we can get this thing up. Oh! 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 Oh, man. Uh, it doesn't have high clearance. Yeah, that bar right underneath the steering wheel. Yep, that and my beans met each other. All oh, the beans. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to walk this thing off. Oh, yeah. I don't think driving this on the street is probably the best idea, and I kind of paid for it kind of left a scar on it, so now I basically have to purchase this thing. That might be a two-stroke engine. I like the muffler, how it's just off the side there. Very basic, not a lot to it, but, uh, I mean, we really don't need a lot. I wouldn't like maybe put a pad around that bar right there for the beans so they don't get smashed. I wonder if I can offer for all four of these you know, and kind of just rent them out to the local kids, you know, start sponsoring them, they could start driving them, I think that would be a pretty cool idea, they could all start their racing, get Timmy started in a new path. Oh, ho, ho. I like how that thing sounds. Drive this slowly off that fire hydrant. Wow. Yeah. Definitely got some power to it. Wow, we're moving now. Looks like it almost sounds like it's about ready to blow up. We better let off that throttle a little bit. I'll probably be in the doghouse. Yeah, my wife isn't impressed by my vehicle shopping. Or my inability to not pass a vehicle, basically. Got way too many vehicles at the farmyard, but hey, I'm trying to do a good thing here. Let's see if this thing will go underneath. I highly doubt it. I think it's way too high. We'll see here. Don't think we're gonna get that. Oh, oh, let's see, yep, not even close, I don't know, that's a lot of weight for the top of that trailer, but I think I'm going to do it anyways, why not, oh, half ton's going to take a beating getting it home, alright, so we got three go-karts on the bottom, and we got one giant heavy American iron on the top. All right, I'm gonna have to lower that down because that's gotta be top heavy. It's poor old Chevy. We definitely got an experience going for us today. Hmm. Let's get all these motorhead toys back to the farmyard. All right, so I got all everything unloaded. Everything made the trip. All right, I just have to show this to little Timmy. Thank. I think it'd be a perfect little racetrack right off the other side of our house here. All right, we're going to take these out. Little Timmy's going to enjoy these. Nothing like giving a kid uh, a toy, especially motorized gas powered toy. Okay, okay, going a little crazy. Yep, it's a little windy here. All right, we're going back. Whew. Ooh, man. That gets your pucker factor a little bit right there. Wow. Them things are fun. I wish I had one when I was a kid. All right. Enough playing for now. Timmy, he could keep playing. But I need to dump this, and I need to take that Alice because we need to get it on the plow, but we can't get it running. So i got to take it into the shop. I think I'm going to be able to borrow another 
old iron tractor. And let's just say this thing is huge. All right, so I don't know if you can hear it, but this has a cylinder that's missing, so we need to take it in. I'm just gonna drive it up on this trailer. Don't wanna drive it too much. Drive this thing up there. And then hopefully get this to the shop. Hopefully I will be able to borrow another tractor for tillage. That's the dream anyways. I don't know if the dream will come true. Head down this windy road with our heavy 4x4. Driving through town with a big old 4x4 on the trailer is not the easiest. Gotta make sure I don't kick out any more signs. I mean, I didn't take out that sign. Alright, let's get this thing into the repair shop. Whoa. You see that giant thing? Uh oh. Thing looks like it could float. Probably be good for this spring. Alright, so I guess this is the tractor we're gonna get to borrow. Holy cow! I mean, look at these fatties on here. That is quite the tire. Got a three-point hitch PTO. This is a 9390 Case Steiger. Man, does that thing look like it can float? I, I don't have my wide load flags for travel. Look at this thing. This thing is giant. Crazy amount of rubber on this old tractor. Really like the looks of it though. Love the front end, this grill on these old Steigers. Oh man, we are gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of rubber hanging off the side of this trailer. But I have no idea. We should probably take the duels off. We're gonna transport it home, but. We don't have that far to go. I think I'm just gonna wing it. Yep, that thing is a beast. Just got this thing unloaded. Wow, gotta make sure I don't run over them goat carts because I can't even see them dang things with these big tires on. Oh, well, a disc is right there. I wanted to hook. Dang it, I'm gonna have to move the magnum. Alright, let's hook up to this peeny John Deere disc. Yeah, this is going to look a little crazy. Go over here to our wheat stubble, start disking this in so we can plant. Wow. This, I mean, just look how tiny that is. Definitely need a bigger disc on the farm. It is almost, the tires are almost just as wide as the disc. Definitely got too much tractor for that disc. Poor little John Deere didn't even know what he was getting into. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Do you think they'll play nice? No. Don't forget to like the video. Thank y'all.